Hey, Vlad here, back with a new video. Today we're gonna to take a look at the all new 2020 Echo Dot Kids Edition. I'm gonna show you why it's so darn good. Now I got the Joe Exotic Carol Baskin Tiger Edition as I felt like that suited 2020 a little bit better. There's also a panda version available as a separate colorway. Okay, so four key things make the Echo Dot Kids Edition the undefeated champ and an easy recommendation as a kid-friendly smart speaker. And those things are value, design, compatibility and features, and parental controls. When it comes to value, you're getting a lot with the package. So of course you're getting an Echo Dot, but it has a graphic design skin on it. You also get one year of Amazon free time, which is now also known as Kids Plus. It's normally $2.99 for Prime members and $4.99 for standard Amazon members, I believe. And this is gonna include things like parental controls, which we're gonna get into a little bit later. And also, you're gonna get kid-friendly Alexa premium skills and audiobooks. Lastly, you get a two-year worry-free guarantee that'll cover the speaker in case it breaks. Amazon will send you a replacement speaker for free. Nobody's offering that for $59.99, so that's a very good value in my opinion, especially considering that the regular Echo Dot is just $49.99. This is the Echo Dot's fourth generation and third design, and honestly, last year's version was already a massive improvement, but they found a way to make the design even better by making the Echo Dot more spherical. This resulted in it making it look way more futuristic, and also the speaker sounds better and fuller. In regards to compatibility and features, the Echo Dot has Alexa built in, so it has access to Amazon's huge skills library, which makes it very compatible with a lot of different smart home technology, but also many different Alexa skills, which will enable you to do other fun things with Alexa. I appreciate that they include two guides in the box, one specifically for kids. It has picture guides on it, and it gives you real world examples of what your child can do with your speaker. I love it. There's a three and a half millimeter headphone jack on the back of the speaker so that you can actually output the sound to a bigger or an external speaker. You could also output the sound to another speaker wirelessly with Bluetooth. Now, the parental controls are fantastic as when you turn on free time, it automatically starts filtering explicit songs and blocking shopping. Alexa also gives kid-friendly responses and I also like to enable follow-up mode on the Echo Dot Kids Edition as well. For those that don't know what follow-up mode is, it's when you enable Alexa to listen to you for a couple of seconds after she gives you an answer to your command. This allows you to respond back with a polite phrase like thank you, or you can continue conversation or make another command. I think it's great for encouraging manners to children. Let me show you what I mean. Alexa, what time is it right now? It's 8.42 p.m. And what's the weather like in Los Angeles? Currently, in Los Angeles, California, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit with mostly clear skies. You can expect more of the same tonight, with a low of 48 degrees. Thank you. Anytime. Echoes have that awesome intercom style drop-in feature, which allow you to instantly start chatting with your child, and also vice versa if it's enabled. Alexa. Drop in on the Echo Plus. Okay, dropping in. Hey. Hey, what's up? I'm just testing the Echo Dot Kids Edition drop in feature. You sound great. Thanks. Okay, sweet. You're welcome. Bye. Alexa, hang up. And then, lastly, for the parent, in the Amazon app, you can set limits to what times of the day your child can interact with the speaker and for how long. The Echo Dot Kids Edition is a great product. It's hard for me to find things I don't like about it, but there are a couple. This first one may come off as nitpicky, but I do wish the power adapter was the same color as the base. So like I said, I have the Tiger Edition, so the base is black, but the power adapter that came in the box was white. This probably is no big deal if you have the Panda Edition, which is a black and white colorway, but for the orange and black colorway for the Tiger Edition, I think it clashes a little much. 
Lastly, Alexa is competent and totally capable of smart home commands and also basic queries. But when it comes to raw AI intelligence, it still pales in comparison to Google Assistant. Google Assistant is still the undefeated king when it comes to parsing and delivering information. So the Echo Dot Kids Edition is rated for kids ages three and up, but maybe if your child is older and maybe the type that always asks why all the time, maybe you should consider a Nest Mini, but honestly, the Echo Dot Kids Edition is such a better overall package. If this helped you decide on making a purchase for buying an Echo Dot Kids Edition, feel free to use my affiliate link in the description below. Now around Prime Day and on the holidays, you can tend to see the Echo Dot Kids Edition go on sale, making it an even better value. Thanks for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you saw, please give this video a like and consider subscribing. And also share this video with someone who you think might be interested in this topic or in this product. Thanks for watching, catch you later.